don't get me started talking about my pillow. That <laughs> I spent after we set the Discord back up, Roastmaster and I were looking at the My Pillow website the very next evening because just LSD, the guy who sent me the bad joke book, sent me the link to the My Pillow website, and we just started deep digging it. And the my <laughs> Roastmaster said he wanted to write something about this, so I don't want to spoil all the funny shit. You guys are probably just going to go there and look at it anyways. But, um... <laughs> so my, my pillow guy... He's got, he's got a book. He wrote a book. He wrote an autobiography, a book of memoirs, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Book of pillows. <laughs> The cover art looks like shit. Yes, of course it does. It's just a picture of him smiling with, like, Times New Roman font. And it's, uh... It's not a hardcover book, and it's not a paperback book either. It's one of those weird, almost like a like a weird cheap school textbook kinds of things that is, I guess, soft cover. I think, is the term, but it's, like, that laminated. It's clearly... It's clearly a vanity press thing because no book publisher gives two flying fucks about the life story of some guy who made a fortune selling pillows and selling American flags at 400% markup and calling them freedom flags, okay? Nobody fucking cares. And so he... <laughs> that's the, from Crack Addict to CEO. That's the one flying... <laughs> If you scroll down the, on that, that fucking page, this guy is such a fucking scumbag. But on that page, there's some pictures, there's some photos, there's like, there's one of, uh, there's one of the guy, there's, there's one of the guy, uh, when he, it's like an elementary school photo when he was like eight or whatever, and there's one of him giving a speech at some college university, like pre-COVID, this was like 2018 or whatever, and there's a picture of him with all the big crowd here to learn about uh, pillows or whatever, I don't fucking know. And, but the one picture on that page that sticks out to me, if you right click it and look at the properties, it's called drug photo one, one, number one or something like that. And it looks like a candid, like film photo from a couple decades ago, maybe three decades ago. And, um, and, uh, so, but he looks kind of grumpy. He almost looks like Ron Swanson from Parks and Rec. He just looks kind of grumpy and his, his eyes are kind of squinted and, uh, it, the exposure's kind of blown out. Like if I stand really close, like if I stand really close to that light, how my face kind of disappears. It's a really blown out. Yeah, that's the photo. That's the photo. So that link that Flux has, <laughs> has posted, I can't see the link, but I recognize the file name. So underneath that photo is a little description on the page that said this was this photo was taken after I had been uh, doing crack for 14 days straight, and I was awake for four like. Basically, he, he says he was awake for 14 days straight doing crack. That's it. exclusively crack. Only just hitting that rock. He must have had like a sack of jawbreakers worth of crack or something for the last 14 days. And immediately, immediately, I'm talking to Roastmaster and he goes, I'm going to fact check this motherfucker right now. <laughs> so he goes, he goes and just Googles. What's the longest recorded anyone has ever stayed up without sleep? And Google is like, uh, 11 days. <laughs> and that person died. Lack of sleep after three days will cause most people to begin hallucinating. This stupid fuck, this stupid fuck says, I smoked crack for 14 days straight and didn't sleep. And he didn't even think that anybody's going to go out there and fact check this shit to just look up to say, hey, Google, what's the longest anyone's ever lived without without sleeping? And guess what? The answer is not 14 days. It's like it's clearly a sham. It's clearly it's clearly a sham. And uh, so it's not a, and he, he doesn't look like somebody who hasn't slept in 14 days. He, he looks slightly grumpy, like maybe he didn't get a good night's sleep for, for one day. You know, like <laughs> he he worked an overnight the crack at the fucking crack factory, okay? The crackery, and uh, <laughs> but hey, you scroll, <laughs> you, you scroll further down. I don't know who the guy was who died after eleven days. It was on Google. I just I just we just did a, we just did a quick fact check. 
the <laughs> Roastmaster started scrolling down the page and immediately, like, we were silent for a while and he just busts out laughing. I can hear him on, oh, oh, you know, we're on the phone. He just immediately cracks up and I'm like, what, what? And he's like, you thinking about the 14 day? He's like, no, scroll down again. And <laughs> Flux is one step ahead of me. There's a fucking disclaimer on the product page for this guy's book about smoking crack. That's <laughs> that says, because of the holographic foil used in the cover of this book, it is not you. It is not allowed in prisons. <laughs> Roastmaster's like, <laughs> never in my life have I ever seen a product anywhere, anywhere that has specifically told me you can't bring this into prisons. But the but the my pillow crack pillow book, you can't bring that to a prison. That is the one time <laughs> anything has ever said you can't you can't bring this here. <laughs> so they <laughs> he says if you want to buy a copy for somebody in prison if you want to buy a copy for somebody in prison there's a special when you add it to your cart there's an option to get one that doesn't have the holographic and that's the one and that's the one you can send to your incarcerated loved ones who've made a lot of bad choices in their life, and you just made some bad choices too. Whew. My God. That's great. That's great. <laughs> if I write a memoir, my book is going to be called What Are the Odds? From Not Funny to Still Not Funny by Draco from Gatorbox. But what was funny is that Rose Master was like, Yeah, I've never bought a single product in my life, I've never seen that warning on anything I've ever purchased, including, including a metal file at the Home Depot, which I believe is specifically what gangsters used to bake into cakes to help people grind against the steel bars to break out of jail with. Not even those have disclaimers saying, yeah, you can't bring this into a prison. <laughs> but the, my, the My Pillow CEO book is the book that, that wardens don't want you to know about, okay? It's the one that... <laughs>